What's going on church fam? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So today's title, Three Signs God is Changing You. Let's get into it. Number one, you think less about looks. Now I still care about my appearance, but I just don't care about it like how I used to. You know what I'm saying? I still appreciate the things I'm able to do. I'm, I still appreciate putting on nice clothes and stuff like that. But when I was younger, it was a lot of stuff you couldn't catch me doing, like wearing flip-flops without socks. If I stepped outside in some flip-flops, I had to have socks on. You get what I'm saying? And another thing you couldn't catch me doing was not shaving my beard. I had to shave my beard. I had to be fresh to the teeth when I stepped outside. But as I got older and as I developed a relationship with the Heavenly Father, I noticed I didn't care about looks as much. Because it was more about the inward man than the outward man. You know, I wanted to make sure my soul was right. So the outward appearance didn't matter as much as the inward appearance. Because at the end of the day, God is going to come back for the person's heart. The flesh will perish, but the spirit will live on within the word of God. So as I traveled this narrow way that leads to life, it taught me the importance of living in the spirit so that you may overcome the flesh. And once I started realizing that I didn't care about looks as much no more, it opened my eyes to certain stuff that goes on in the world. For example, a lot of people probably don't realize this, but when you're choosing your significant other, when you're choosing your spouse, it's based upon looks before it is what's going on in the, on the inside, the heart. And how I look at relationships now, okay, you might look good, but at the end of the day, we're going to grow old. We're going to get old one day, so I got to find something else to like about you. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I care about what's going on on the inside. Is my spirit right with God? That's one sign to know that the Heavenly Father is changing you. You don't think about looks as much as you once did. Number two, you change your hobbies. One of the major signs to pay attention to when God is changing you is that you change your hobbies. Like the things that you used to love doing, you just don't want to do it no more. And sometimes... The hobbies that we used to indulge ourselves in are based around the company we keep around. So when you're trying to grow spiritually, that's when you start to recognize, okay, I got to change the company I keep around because they still participate in the hobbies that I must let go of. And we all know one of the major hobbies, and that's to, you know, maybe drink or smoke or go to some lounge. I don't know if I said that word right, but you know, some hookah bar or something like that. And you know, as you start to develop a relationship with the Heavenly Father, you're gonna realize you don't wanna do these things anymore. So you find new things to do that's more pleasing to the Heavenly Father. So what's gonna happen is, when you start to change your hobbies, you're gonna find yourself alone a lot more. Because you're going through something that's life-changing. You're breaking off certain habits that's attached to these hobbies. And you're going to have to let some people go. And you probably end up doing a lot more stuff alone. But that's just the beginning. Because God's going to replace your circle of people. He's going to give you new people to be around. But at the beginning, God is just rebooting your life. He's giving you a fresh start because now you're born again. Now you're finding new identity in Christ. And once that began to take place, it's going to renew your mind and it's going to cause you to want to do different things. You're not going to want to participate in certain stuff no more. And people might try to pull you back into it. So that's why God is refreshing the circle of people you keep around. Because in order to grow spiritually, you got to remove certain influences that may be in your life. And it can even be with family too. 
I seen times when the heavenly father will take me away from a job just so I can grow spiritually. Like the heavenly father calls me to find a new job one time just to get away from certain influences that kept me in a stuck place. And another thing too, one of my hobbies is creating music. I like writing. I like the writing process. I like going to the studio and stuff like that. I like doing stuff like that. And what happened was when I started giving my life to the Heavenly Father, the music I once did, I had to get rid of it in order to make music that glorify the Heavenly Father. So that's another sign. You're going to change hobbies. Hobbies that's pleasing to the Heavenly Father. Last, but most definitely not least. Number three, you become more curious. When God is doing a mighty work in you, when he's changing things about your life, when he's changing you, you become more curious. Because the words say we must diligently seek after the righteousness of God. And so by us becoming more curious, that's the Heavenly Father letting you know that the Holy Ghost it's causing you to want to know more about the Heavenly Father and things that you may forget the Holy Ghost will bring back to your memory. See, the reason why we become more curious is because we're born again creatures. That's just like a baby that's growing up. A baby that's growing up in a household, they always curious, they always exploring, trying to learn something new. And sometimes we may get into some trouble. But as long as you keep God first, he's going to chastise you. He's going to make sure you learn his ways. He's not going to give up on you. He's never going to leave nor forsake you as long as you remain in his presence. He who began a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Christ. So curiosity is just something that happens when we become a born again creature in Christ and over the course of time we will develop spiritually we will go through a stage of spiritual maturity so these are three signs that God is changing you and I pray this video bless you and I pray that you continue to grow spiritually I pray this video gives you clarity with your walk with Christ in Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.